ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் குட் ஈவினிங் ஒன்ஸ் அகேன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் முகாம்பிகா நர்சிங் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஹியர் வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஃபார் ஆர்ஆர்பி நர்சிங் சூப்ரண்டன்ட் எக்ஸாம் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ திஸ் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் வில் ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல் ஃபார் யுவர் அதர் நர்சிங் ஆஃபீஸர் எக்ஸாம் டுடே ஹியர் வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் ஒன் செட் ஆஃப் ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் ஆன்சர்ஸ் வி கேன் சி த கொஸ்டின் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் பாசிட்டிவ் ஆர் டெஃபினெட்டிவ் சைன் ஆஃப் ப்ரெக்னன்சி இஸ் ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஆப்ஷன் இக்யூ கேனிங் ஆப்ஷன் பி அமினோரியா ஆப்ஷன் சி யூட்ரின் அலார்ஜ்மெண்ட் ஆப்ஷன் டி விஷுவலைசேஷன் ஆஃப் ஃபீட்டர்ஸ் பை அல்ட்ராசவுண்ட் பாசிட்டிவ் ஆர் அப்சலூட் சைன் ஆஃப் ப்ரெக்னன்சி இன்க்ளூட்ஸ் பெர்செப்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஆக்டிவ் ஃபீட்டல் மூமெண்ட் at about 20th week of gestation that is quickening and presence of fetal heart sound and sonographic evidence of embryo here visualization of fetus by ultrasound is there that is the sonographic evidence of embryo on mainly in 6th week of pregnancy so option d is the correct answer visualization of fetus by ultrasound is the positive sign of pregnancy and the second question secondary prevention is options option a early detection or diagnosis of disease and prompt treatment option b safe water supply vector and animal reservoir control option c good living and walking condition option d nutritional counseling secondary prevention is early detection or early diagnosis of disease and prompt treatment option a is the correct answer move on to the next question question number 3 current jelly leg stool containing blood and mucus among 3 months to 3 years old child is suspected to have options option a meckel's diverticulum option b intersusception option c herpes disease option d abdominal hernia current jelly leg stool is the typical features of intersusception option b is the correct answer Move on to the next question. Question number 4. Bulging sac like lesion filled with spinal fluid and spinal cord element is. Options. Option A. Spinal bifida occulta. Option B. Hydrocephalus. Option C. Milo meningocele. Option D. Meningocele. Our question is. Bulging sac like lesion filled with spinal fluid and spinal cord element is seen in case of Milo meningocele. Option C is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Question number 5. Health maintenance program for older people in the community are as follows. Except. Options. Option A. Home health service. Option B. Palliative care. Option C. Dietary guidance and food services. Option D. Health education. Our question is. Among the following, which one is not a health maintenance program for older people in the community? Home health service is one of the health maintenance program. Dietary guidance and food service, health education are health maintenance program. But palliative care is not a health maintenance program for older people. Palliative care means is a health approach which is mainly aimed to give quality of health approach to the patient and also to the family members mainly in. if the patient is facing some life threatening illness that is palliative care move on to the next question question number 6 encircling or encircling cervix with suture is done for patient with options option a incompetent cervix option b threatened abortion option c complete abortion option d incomplete abortion encircling the cervix with suture or encircling is mainly done in a patient with incompetent cervix option a is the correct answer incompetent cervix may or weak cervix may cause premature birth move on to the next question question number 7 when a pulse rate is irregular it is best to count the options option a radial pulse for a full minute option b epical pulse for a full minute option c epical pulse for 30 seconds option d radial pulse for 30 second our question is if the pulse rate is irregular means what we have to do we have to count epical pulse for a full minute so here answer is option b move on to the next question question number 8 role of community nurse in school health program except 
options option a assist in school medical examination and follow up option b to provide immunization to the children option c assist in communicable disease control option d assist in screening physical mental and other special examination of the children in school our question is among this option which one is not a function of community nurse in school health program correct answer is option b to provide immunization to the children is not a role of community nurse in school health program move on to the next question question number 9 philosophy of primary health care are as follows except options option a primary prevention option b intersectoral approach option c equity and justice option d interrelationship of health and development and question is which one is not a philosophy of primary health care and the correct answer is it is option a primary prevention and the next question question number 10 the normal level of sodium in plasma is options option a 92 196 mg per 100 ml option b 135 to 143 mg equivalent per liter option c 97 to 106 mg equivalent per liter option d 60 to 100 mg per deciliter normal serum or plasma sodium level is 135 to 145 mg equivalent per liter in our option 135 to 143 mg equivalent per liter is there so that is the correct answer option b move on to the next question to properly stage a pressure ulcer options option a the patient must be supine option b natural light must be used option c scar must be removed option d the skin must be completely dry for doing proper staging of pressure ulcer the scar must be removed option c is the correct answer scar is a dead tissue that forms over the pressure ulcer Move on to the next question. Question number twelve. The inflammatory or exudative phase of wound healing will last for options. Option A one year. Option B twenty one days to one month. Option C one to four days. Option D five to ten days. The inflammatory phase of wound healing will last for one to four days. Option C is the correct answer. And move on to the next question. Question number thirteen. Considering the chain of infection, a reservoir might be options. Option A it. carrying lyme disease option b a contaminated water supply option c staphylococcus bacteria option d an uninfected patient in the chain of infection the reservoir might be a contaminated water supply in the contaminated water the infectious particles will be there that is the chain of infection option b is the correct answer Move on to the next question. Question number fourteen. Complete dilatation of cervix to the birth of the baby is staged as options. Option A, stage four of labor. Option B, stage three of labor. Option C, stage one of labor. Option D, stage two of labor. One set of labor pain to full dilatation of the cervix is first stage of labor, and full dilatation of the cervix to the birth of the baby is second stage of labor. So here the correct answer is option D. stage 2 of labor move on to the next question question number 15 which of the following is not a typical difference factor between benign and malignant tumor options option a size of the tumor option b encapsulation option c cell differentiation option d growth rate our question is which one is not a typical difference factor between benign and malignant tumor it is option a size of the tumor move on to the next question question number 16 alcohol withdrawal symptoms are as follows except options option a hallucinations option b euphoria option c anxiety and insomnia option d tremors our question is which one is not a symptom alcohol withdrawal symptom hallucinations anxiety and insomnia tremors are alcohol withdrawal symptom but euphoria is not a alcohol withdrawal symptom Move on to the next question. Question number seventeen. In what ways could hepatitis A virus be spread if one of the kitchen employees is in the reservoir? Options. Option A. While he speaks and sneezes through droplet root. Option B. While he coughs out through airborne root. Option C. If he sustain a cut through blood bond. Option D. Oral fecal root through his hands. 
mode of transmission of hepatitis A is fecal oral route. So here correct answer is option D oral fecal route through his hands. Move on to the next question. Accumulation of endolymph causing distension and increased pressure within the membranous labyrinth with the destruction of sensory cells in the ambula and cochlea is options option A osteosclerosis option B hordeolum option C otitis media option D meniere's disease and the correct answer is it is meniere's disease option D is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Question number 19. Eclampsia is characterized by the following except options. Option A BP greater than 160 by 110 mm Hg. Option B scissors. Option C mild facial edema. Option D marked proteinuria. Our question is among this which one is not a characteristic features of eclampsia. It is mild facial edema remaining BP will be high and scissor will be there and mark proteinuria will be there but mild facial edema is not the feature of eclampsia option c is the correct answer move on to the next question abga score is considered excellent if the score is options option a 3 to 7 option b 0 to 3 option c 7 to 10 option d 4 to 6 Abga score is excellent means if the score is between 7 to 10. So here the correct answer is option C. Move on to the next question. Question number 21. Vital status include the following except options. Option A. Education rate. Option B. Morbidity and mortality statics. Option C. Birth rate. Option D. Life expectancy. Vital status include all except which is not included in vital status. It is education rate. Option A is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Question number 22. The complications for ventricular septal defect are as follows. Except options. Option A. Permanent hypertension. Option B. Cerebral palsy. Option C. Heart failure. Option D. Endocarditis. Our question is. Which one is not a complication of ventricular septal defect? Among this option. Correct answer is option B. Cerebral palsy. And the next question, question number 23, a significant predictor of fetal well-being is if the fetal heart rate is options. Option A, 180 to 200 beats per minute. Option B, 160 to 200 beats per minute. Option C, 100 to 120 beats per minute. Option D, 120 to 160 beats per minute. Normal fetal heart rate in fetal life, it is 120 to 160 beats per minute. Option D is the correct answer. And the next question, question number 24. Protective devices are applied snugly. Which of the following findings would you concerned about? Options. Option A. Quick capillary refill of the nail buds. Option B. Ability to move fingers and toes. Option C. Skin that is warm and pink. Option D. Pallor of the nail bud. Among this, which we will concern is Pallor of the nail bud. Option D is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Question number 25. Mando's test that is purified protein derivative is significantly positive when the erythema measures. Options. Option A 15 mm or greater. Option B 10 mm to 14.5 nan mm. Option C 5 mm to 10 mm. Option D 3.5 mm to 9.9 mm. If the Mandos test is positive, the erythema size exceeding 10 mm means it is positive. If it is less than 6 mm considered to be negative and between 6 to 9 mm means doubtful. So here the correct answer is option B. This is one of the previous year questions and answers. Today we discussed 25 questions. Remaining questions we can see through next videos.